Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, Season 4, Episode 8. We're halfway through the season. So today it is Tuesday, which can only mean one thing. That's right, it's Tuesday. I'm sorry, I woke up today with a bit too much energy. So hopefully this will calm me down and realign my chakras. <laughs> but this is The Walking Dead, so I doubt it. But let's get straight into it, shall we? Before we start, I just want to let everybody know that the footage we're about to see does not belong to me, it belongs to AMC. But, without further ado, episode 8. Lights. Camera. Pew. Action. I have to talk all of you into doing something. Something I know we need to do. And I don't know how to talk about it. Then don't. And don't tell us that we need to do it. The biters, there'll be a herd of them. They'll fill the pits, crawl over one another. It'll be enough to tear right through our camp. So we need to move to a different camp. He's going to be like, I found everyone a new home. We're going to prison. The people who uh, destroyed the camp I was in with Martinez, they live in a prison. Oh, I knew it. We could live there. <gasps> Whoa! It's already started. If we're willing to take it from them. No way. I gonna let her, she'll get executed after the bloody amazing episode he just had. We can have it. We don't need to kill anyone. No. But we need to be prepared to. So he's already slapped up Michonne in the front of her face. Possibly got Herschel as well. Oh! What a messed up start to the episode. But most of them the thieves, murderers. And why should people like that have peace of mind when we're burying our own just about every day? Ugh, pot calling the kettle black much. Killed my daughter. No, they didn't kill your daughter. They put your daughter's reanimated corpse down, bitch. We need to surprise them. Scare them. Huh? And we will win. No, you won't. Well, you might, actually. This random man wanders into camp, and then all of a sudden, two of our people die, and now he's forcing us to move and um, overtake another camp. This is so suspicious. I'll be like... I get bad vibes from you, Mr. Sir. You said they weren't all bad people. Well, they were bad people. Am I? Yeah, you is, girl. Try and wake up and smell the coffee today. I'm gonna keep you alive. I'm gonna keep Megan alive. I love you. I don't know who you are. No, you really do not. You told me there has to be some place better, and I was gonna help you find it. You knew me, Lily. It was always going to be like this. Mama, I do not know, Lily, if you is colorblind or not. But that flag waving right in front of your face is a red one. Oh my god, he really does have him. Oh my god. I'm oh my god, him. But also, I kind of really feel really, really secure in um, Michonne's capability. But they also put Herschel on a pedestal a few episodes ago, so it might be his time to go. Michonne, I want you to know. Penny, my daughter, she was dead. I know that now. now I don't want to hurt you. Liar! I don't want to hurt anyone. I need the prison, that's it. There are people I need to keep alive. You two are going to help me take it. No one needs to die. You should have told him there's people that you I'm need to kill keep alive. You. Oh, she's gonna kill you, and she's gonna kill the people you won't keep alive. You say you want to take this prison as peacefully as possible. That means you'd be willing to hurt people to get it. Uh huh. My daughters would be there. That's who you'd be hurting. If you understand what it's like to have a daughter, then how can you threaten to kill someone else's? Yeah, you motherfucker. Because they aren't mine. Oh, that's actually such a good comeback. But I knew he was going to come out with that. He is heartless. He lacks compassion. He lacks empathy. He's like a sociopath. He don't fucking give a shit about people's emotions. He only cares about himself. 
fighters can't make it across the water. If it's safe by the water, then let's just go someplace by the water. Lily. You don't have to do this. Any place that's safe, really safe. Someone's already there. Oh, Lily and Megan, I feel bad for you because I feel like you might accidentally become collateral damage. Guilty by association and all that shit. You know, our anniversary's coming up. It is? Oh. One of these days. If ever there's a bloody <laughs> sign that one of them's gonna die in this episode. I'm gonna get you some water. Mm, yeah, I can get it. I know. But I'm doing it. Yeah, I can serve your energy, Glenn. You might need it in a minute. Fuck it out. And you couldn't have waited till we got back? Until Tyrese got back? How could I handle that? Here it is. Hey, hey. She killed two of our own. She couldn't be here. She has a car, supplies, weapons. She's a, she's a survivor. So sing that like you don't believe it. Oh, I knew Daryl was going to be fucking fuming. I haven't told Tyrese yet. I don't know how he's going to take it. I know exactly how he's going to fucking take it. See, maybe, Rick, you acted a bit in haste because I feel like with this battle which is about to happen between you guys and the governor's guys, Carol could have been actually a really decent asset to your team. Sasha, you're not strong enough yet. Then help me. See, this has got me a little bit worried, to be fair, because half the people in the prison, yeah, they are not at full strength at all. They're trying to recover from this bloody herpy bloody virus that's just happened. So really, even though the governor doesn't know it, it is probably the perfect time to strike. Well, I was just looking for answers, and I found this. What in the world? Same person to kill Karen and David did this. Oh, no, that's Remember the rats at the fence? They showed up the same day she was killed. Whoever did this, I don't think that's who killed Karen. Why? Because the person who did. No time to explain, let's go! Oh shit, this is where we need Carol to appear out of nowhere, driving a bulldozer going full steam ahead and run over the governor's big toe so it makes him incapable of being able to walk and then we'll have the other hand. Oh my days, I'm so smart. No, that see, now we, it made me, oh my God, gave me goosebumps and everything. Now we have to fight. We can't just ignore these motherfucking bitches. They have our friends. Let's steal them back. Come down here, let's. Let's have that talk. I know. One thing after fucking another. Just can't catch a break. I have literally no idea how any of this is going to play out. So I'm not even going to make any assumptions. I'm just going to watch it literally play out. Let him go. Right now. I'll stay down here. Talk as long as you want. But you let him go. Doesn't have to go down this way. I got more people, more firepower. We need this prison. Well, we need it first, and we were here first, motherfucker. I have a tank, and I'm letting you walk away from here. What else is there to talk about? <gasps> he do got some nerve, but he also do got a tank. Do you know, I am such a coward. I really am. And I don't mind admitting that, especially living in a world like this. But I would be willing to risk my life for an opportunity to take one eye bry down. I would. is not deep enough to keep these guys safe. I feel like this girl also, she might stumble upon something that she needn't stumble upon. <laughs> nah, keep that gun on you girl. Your daughter is digging for something. Uh. 
Oh, little girl. Oh, what a sneaky little walker. Oh, no, it did get her. Oh, I was so not bothered because I was thinking, oh, well, this happens every fucking episode, so. But it actually did get her. Shit. I feel bad for her, and I definitely feel bad for the mother, because she's going to have to live without her daughter, but fuck you, one-eyed bride. Doesn't have to be like that. Like I said, it's your choice. Oh, Phil. The one thing you set out to do, you've already failed, and that is to keep that little girl alive. So he's, he's sitting there. Thinking he's got all the power because he's got a motherfucking tank. And little does he know he's already fucking lost. Where are you guys going? The bus, come on. No. You know the plan, that's where we're supposed to go. Carol told us to be strong, to protect ourselves. They have guns. We should have guns too. Oh. We should help. God. Also, this whole rat disembodiment. Disembodiment? You know when you di dissect a rat? Is that the right word I'm using? Yeah, yeah. I think that's Lizzie, I'm not gonna lie. Cause she's just so curious, isn't she? I think she's been feeding the walkers cause she loves them. With the rats, and now the rats are there, they are like some science experiment. I do think it's her. There's enough room for all of us. More than enough. We both know that's not gonna happen there. I don't think my family would sleep well knowing that you were under the same roof. You try and force us, we'll fight back. Like you said, the gunshots will just bring more of them out. They'll take down the fences. Without the fences, this place is worthless. I don't understand why he feels like so irritated, like he thought this wasn't going to be the case. What is he? Fix the damn fences. Oh! No, please, please. This I can't deal with. No, 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 please. Oh, I'm not ready for a major character death yet. Now you put down your weapons, walk through those gates. You're one of us. Oh my god. We let go of all of it. Oh no, Phil was gonna make a statement to say, fuck off, no. Oh, please. But we can still come back. We're not too far gone. God, this is all falling on deaf ears. We get to no. Ahead. This is a fake hell. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. No. Oh. Liar. Oh. Ah, shit. <gasps> right in front of his kids as well. That is it. Oh, I'm so fucking angry, I've got to kill someone. Well, I'm not personally, but I need you to kill people for me. Oh my god, I'm sweating out, I can't cope. No! Yeah! Yes! Everyone stop fucking each other up. Come on, Michon, please, please, please. I fucking knew Herschel weren't long for this world after that episode he just had. Oh, I was hoping I was wrong. Oh my god, just hacking away at him like he's some fucking butcher. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I've got so many different emotions and I do not mean to be laughing that a little girl is dead. I really am not. Oh my god, can you not see how fucking cold and ruthless this man is? Guys. Oh. Guys. Get 
these people on the bus be ready to drive. I'll be right back. What if you're not? You have to go without us. I won't go without you. Get these people on the bus, okay? It's your job. We've all got jobs to do. We've all got jobs to do. That's what you've been preaching this whole fucking time, girl. <laughs> Come on. Take out his other eye. He's a bit fucked in it, or no eyes are cool with it. I mean, preferably, kill the motherfucker. But if you can't do that, take out his eye. See, why are they using this tank to blow up the prison and knock down the fences if you want to be living there, you fucking idiot? Oh, we've also got fucking walkers to contend with. Listen, walkers, can you not see we're in the middle of something? Sit your dead ass down. Oh my god! Oh my god, that will be careful. Surely a bullet or two will go through. Oh yeah! Blow you bitches up. Oh my god, she is shell shocked. Look at that lady girl. Oh, Bob's been fucking shot. It's all kicking off. Yes, girls! Now fucking run and hide. Oh, she won't kill you. Oh, and there's the end of my lesbian love story. Girls, you actually kind of saved the day. Oh, I need Carl to come and save his dad. Oh, God. There's so much stress. My body is... Oh! Full of adrenaline! Mission! She got him! Oh, my God. He can't recover from that. She fucking skewered him like a fucking kebab. Wait, so that's the end of the governor? Too much has happened in a single episode. Get him. Get him. Oh, this feels so good. Such a bittersweet episode. Oh no, don't just leave him. You need to make sure it's done. Chop his limbs off one by one. Oh my God, what the fuck is up with me? I need to fucking calm down a little bit. Oh, come on, Mitch. Die. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, come on, Mitch, die. Oh my god, we so totally won. Oh, but we lost her sure along the way. It fucking stresses me out so much. Call. Oh my god. Where the fuck is Carl? There he is! Oh, good! I thought they might have got him off screen or something. I mean, this is horrible. This is terrible. It is a mess. But I can't believe how effectively we won. If I'm right in saying, we own I mean, I say only. But we only had one casualty, right? Oh! 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 I ain't fucking dealing with no babies dying. Oh my god, there's blood and everything. Oh! No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, small blessings that did not happen on screen because I would not have been able to get that image out of my fucking head ever. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Guys, I was not ready for this episode. Please, can all the walkers just help me up and fucking eat him? Oh my god. This is quite poetic. Oh! Well done, Lily. That was random, but I appreciate that shit. Oh, fucking hell. And now we've got to deal with a swarm of walkers and all our defences are down because the fucking tank ruined our fence. Don't look back. Carl, just keep walking. Where are the boys going? I was not ready for this episode. <coughs> Okay guys, the episode is done and dusted, let's talk about it. I'm a bit stunned, so bear with me a second. So, straight off the bat, Phil had captured Herschel and Michonne. He said to his camp, 
Listen, we're moving. We're going to go live in a prison. we got a tank, so we can't lose. I'm doing everything for you, Lily, and for you, Megan, okay? My sole purpose in life is to keep you alive. So we need to go to this prison. That's the only way you can be safe. But obviously, my prison lot, they ain't, they ain't going to give up their home so easily. So Rick's like, we're not doing it. We're going to have to try and live side to side. Side to side, side by side. And the governor, he's not having any of that. And so he gets Michonne's sword and he just in front of everyone, in front of the man's daughters and everything, he just beheads Herschel. And then he just starts butchering him. It's so fucking horrible. I'm so sad. And then that starts the carnage and the bloodbath. And then Phil and Rick, they're bare knuckle fighting. And then the governor gets the upper hand over Rick. He starts choking him out like some kinky bitch. And then all of a sudden, right through the back, Michonne, with the same sword that that governor just wielded on Herschel, stabbed him right through the middle for him to just lay there dying. And in the meantime, he's a um, new little daughter, Megan. Unfortunately, I feel so bad for cheering that on. And I, it weren't nothing personal, little Megan. I'm so sorry. I just wanted him to feel miserable as much as possible. Anyway, yeah, she died. And so Lily, she gave the final shot to the governor. She was like, do you know what? You were a bad man. I asked you point blank, are you a bad man? And you lied to me. So this is what I do to liars. Bad bitch. And then we finally take control back of the situation and the prison. We, we kill everyone off. We're like, you know what? Fuck all you bitches. We're going to kill you all off. And just when we're having a moment to breathe, Rick and Carl come across little Judith's baby carrier and it is covered in blood and it is so sad and the boys are distraught and from the end of this episode it looks like they are leaving the prison they are like we are not looking back we need to go which leaves absolutely everything now open-ended and it is blown wide open what are rick and carl gonna do what are the people in the prison gonna do we no longer have an enemy we lost bloody Herschel, and we're only halfway through the bloody season it is all far too much and I don't know whether I want to go straight on to the next episode or give myself a moment to bloody breathe. I feel like this is some toxic relationship I have got with this show. <laughs> anyway, let me just calm down a second. Whew. Guys, if you want to be with me for the next episode and you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Down in the comment section, just sound off in general. There is a lot to talk about in this episode. A hell of a lot happened. And I'm sure we've all got a lot of opinions on it. And until next time, I've said it once, I've said it twice, I've said it a thousand times, but it's very important. Make sure you stay safe out there, okay, please?